the funding that I received from the ASHA Foundation was uh, quite helpful um, for me. I received the funding about midway through my probationary tenure um, period as an assistant professor. Um, and so it was good to be able to show um, to those evaluating my record that I was able to um, achieve extramural funding to support my, my research. Um, so that was a good thing and I think helpful in the tenure decision. Um, I also was able to support um, several students working in my lab. Um, a PhD student um, received some partial funding to work on projects associated with the grant. And then I had several AUD students who were also working in the lab and received some funding. Um, and one of those students went on to get a PhD ultimately. And I think the exposure to research was, was helpful to her and good for the field ultimately. So the project that was funded by the Ashna Foundation grant um, was aimed at trying to take what we do with otoacoustic emissions in a slightly different direction. Otoacoustic emissions are currently used widely um, to screen for hearing loss, um, particularly in very young children. And we know from looking at the data that we miss about half of children who have milder amounts of hearing loss when we screen with otoacoustic emissions. So the projects that the grant supported were aimed at providing some foundational efforts that would ultimately, we hope, uh, lead to more sensitive identification, more effective identification of mild um, hearing losses. Um, so the projects associated with the grant led to several publications and then provided uh, pilot data that I could include in an application to the NIH that was uh, funded by the NIH. And we are just finishing up the projects asso associated with that grant and it looks like from our initial look at the data that we are able to make um, emissions a little more sensitive to mild losses, which means we'll be able to catch them earlier and um, get people the treatment they need earlier. So the foundation project was critical in setting all of that up. I am very appreciative um, of the um, award that I received from the ASHA Foundation and just the work that the foundation does in general. Um, the funding climate um, right now is very challenging and it is difficult to get grant funds. There are fewer of them out there and more people applying for them. So having um, the foundation money available as a mechanism to apply to, I think is just critical for um, getting research going in our field. Um, so I'm very appreciative of that. And the foundation beyond the grant funding provides a number of opportunities to help um, people in communication sciences and disorders expand their research expertise. And I know that I personally have benefited from several of those, including the Lessons for Success workshop and the uh, Grant Reviewer um, training workshops. And I, I'm very appreciative of the opportunities that the foundation has given me.